Hi guys, yeah another video for myself, I think it's been a, a couple of weeks now or maybe more since I did my last video, uh, yeah so I thought I'd just let you see what I've been up to over the past few weeks, uh, these guys in front of you here, these are the Perry Miniatures Metal American Civil War Confederate Cavalry and yeah I just finished doing the bases last night so the figures were actually finished uh, midweek and I've just just managed to get the, the bases done last night so yeah quite pleased with these guys I got through them quite quickly uh, as mentioned in the previous video I was trying out some of the contrast paints on the horses I think I did three with contrast paints so other was just my normal method uh, base colour and a wash and uh, yeah I didn't think I did highlights in the horses and then I added on the, the socks or uh, marks on the muzzles and things like that and uh, yeah I think they've turned out okay I think I'm still going to play around with the contrast paints uh, yeah maybe try and get some of the is it the medium if I'm mixing in maybe make it slightly thinner but yeah I'm going to play around with it it seems to be quite a good way to get through horses quickly uh, so yeah, I'll, I will, I'll play around and see how I get all my different ones as well. Uh, and as I say, that was all painted from a, a grey undercoat. That was a Halford's uh, grey primer spray. So all in all, yeah, it's come out quite well. So these guys, uh, there's a mix of guys in shirts and other ones in the, what, well, is it shell jackets? So in front we've got the command there, uh, Bugler on the white horse. Officer, he's in the red shirt. He's a really, really nice sculpt. I really like that one. Uh, we've got a guide and bearer here. Uh, yeah, I put on, I had this flag sitting around. It's a Texas flag. Oh, nearly knocked the camera over. And uh, so, yeah, these will be a Texas unit. And you'll see the set in the front there. Got a couple of guys in the more of the regular jackets, uh, yellow facings, uh, yellow collar, I should say. And in the back row, a few more guys here. And I would say as well, there's a couple of guys with revolvers and some with swords. Just get a little turn around. So yeah, as I say, quite quick to do. Uh, not as quick as doing Union, because Union is quite standard. Uh, dark blue jackets, normally light blue trousers, so they're easy, straightforward. These guys, obviously, you want to mix it up slightly, give them a, an irregular type look to the unit, so takes a bit more time when you're using all different colours. Uh, yeah, I'll just pick up these guys, get a closer look maybe. Uh, as I said, I really like this officer type figure. He's a lovely sculpt. Uh, zoom in, that's it, the focus in now. Uh, so too is the bugler, but yeah, I just really like that officer figure. Uh, yeah, it's just a lovely sculpt, he is. Uh, his horse was actually done with a contrast paint. Off the top of my head, I can't remember which one it was, but yeah, that was a contrast, just nothing else, just the, the contrast over the, the grey primer, and it's come out quite good, that one actually, yeah, quite pleased with that one. So that's the Officer Bugler, I'll give a look at the, the guide and bearer, yeah, the flag, that is from GMB Designs, oh, I've just noticed a little, a little chip, or maybe it's a bit of white paint that's flicked onto the horse there. Uh, just yeah, along from his boot, I'll have to touch that up. That's the beauty about doing a video and zooming in, you can find little things. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll do that as soon as I finish this video. So, yeah, that's a guide and bearer, he's in the shirt. Uh, GMB flag, really nice figure. And this is another guy I really like him, I couldn't resist doing him in a red shirt. Uh, yeah, what a lovely figure he is as well. He's got a sort of battered looking slouch hat as well. Thought we'd do that in a light colour, but yeah, he's a really nice figure. That's another, yeah, that was another contrast colour horse as well. So yeah, that one's nice. You yeah, look at the guys, two guys here with the regulation jackets on. One with a pistol, a revolver, and one with a sword. Again, lovely sculpts. Yeah. Yeah, this, this horse here, that was a contrast colour as well. I think that was a snake bite leather, possibly. Uh, yeah, I think 
Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't use contrast paints to paint entire figures, but I do find them useful for doing things. Uh, yeah. So that's that two guys there. And here is another cool figure. We've got another guy in a shirt here. Shirt and sword with a light coloured trousers. And then we've got a, a more slightly <laughs> leaning towards a regulation dress with the grey coat and the blue trousers. Uh, yeah, again, really nice figures. As I say, I have mixed up the shades of greys and grey blues and that just the Make them all slightly different. Uh, and then finally, this guy here. He's a more regulation dress. And sword upright. So, yeah. See him up here. Nice facial expression on that guy. So, I see something else here. It's just some, yeah. Cool. So, yeah. That's that unit done there. Just set that there. Uh, anyway, just push out the side. There's a couple other things that I finished off actually a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, just not managed to get a video done. So I'll let you see. It's just some Napoleonic officers. Uh, firstly, I've got these guys here. Uh, now, the mounted figure, that's a War Games Foundry French officer. And the foot officer is actually the, the metal figure from the Warlord Games Vistula Legion box set. And I've added on a Perry's French Infantry Charcoal Head. Uh, yeah, quite pleased with that. So this is just another Infantry Command stand for my Italian figures. Uh, yeah, it turned out quite well. Yeah, I've said it before, I really like the, the foundry sculpts. I know they were done by the Perry's many years ago. Uh, yeah, slightly smaller, more 2 to 25 millimetre scale I suppose but yeah they are really nice I really enjoy painting them so yeah uh, I was just looking for some stuff to do while I was doing other figures and I picked a few figures out my boxes just to get them done here's another Perry's French ADC uh, lovely figure again yeah yeah so I've done that guy before actually, but uh, that was a spare figure. So there's that guy there, and I picked up another couple of spare officers I had lying around French officers. These are Perry's from the Perry's own range. Oh, camera sort of wobbling around there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've got the infantry guy in a sort of campaign loop there. Again, I've, I think I mentioned in the last video when I did my Italian Valique Grenadiers, the trousers, I'm using the uh, Games Workshop base colour, the Wraithbone. Uh, I'm using that, giving it a thin down wash of Agrax Earthshades and just light a uh, highlighting again with the same colour. And I'm quite liking that effect. It's like a, a dirty white colour. Uh, and then also the cross straps and belts and whatever else is done in the white. So it's a nice contrast. Uh, yeah, I've did the the patchy uh, animal skin on the back part as well. Uh, I don't normally do that. I normally just paint it brown, but I thought, yeah, I'll do something a little different. So yeah, that's that's that officer there, and I've got one more. This is a guy, another lovely figure from Perry's, and this is the the officer in the. He's got the great coat, sort of leaning off on his shoulders. Yeah. Uh, Really nice figure indeed. Just turn that around so we've got the great coat there as well. And then the back of the figure there. So, that's him guys. So, that's about it. Uh, yeah, I'll just pop these on there. I'll see these guys here. And um, here. So that's, that's what's been happening guys over the past few weeks. So, I managed to get a few figures painted so I'm quite pleased with that it's, it's always nice to paint some figures that you've had lying around in the in boxes for a while uh, and that's what I tend to do the ones that I've, I've had for maybe some of them for years uh, and while I'm painting a unit I'll pick out a few and they'll get painted up at the same time and it's nice to clear a few <laughs> a few little boxes out the, the, the drawer of unpainted figures as well so 
yeah, really enjoyable. So that's it, guys. Uh, yeah, you get a Confederate cavalry, some Napoleonic French, and obviously one Italian command stand there. Uh, and that's it for the moment. Now, a couple of videos ago, I had some comments from subscribers about doing the flesh colour, and I have answered uh, the way I go about painting my flesh faces and that. I did try and explain it over a, a comment, a reply, no in the comments, but what I'm doing is, my next unit of fingers, I shall, what I'll do is, maybe six of the fingers or whatever, I'll I'll paint the faces in the different stages, and then I'll, I'll go through it like that, uh, from the, the base coat to the shading, to the next layer until the final highlight, and hopefully that will help some of the guys uh, and answer some questions that have been Want the neat answer about painting the flesh stones? If I had a better setup, I could have probably did a tutorial. But I think if I <laughs> get the time as well, that's the other thing. Get a good setup. Uh, yeah, if time allows, I may at some point try and play around and see if I get a better setup so I could do an actual short tutorial, if possible. But in the meantime, as I say, I'll I'll get the flesh colours on some of these figures and I'll I'll do a talk through in the stages and and what paints and that I'm using, and hopefully that'll help some guys out. So yeah guys, uh, yeah, watching all the videos, click the like button, probably not been commenting as much as lately, uh, yeah, just been really busy with work, and by the time I, I get up to the painting desk, I'm, I'm just trying to concentrate and get some painting time in, so uh, yeah, but enjoying all the videos anyway guys, so keep up the good work, and uh, hopefully I'll have another video soon, and we'll see you then. Cheers now. Bye-bye.